I am going to my dress. Come down. I have to put my hand inside to know where the pain is coming from exactly. Because the way I'm seeing this, this is not a labor pain. There must be a complication somewhere and I have to find out. Wait, put your hand away, please. Yeah, you're putting your hand inside of my body. Hey! Are you seeing this thing with your, your eye? Your mind? Are you seeing it with your, uh, from the right frame of mind? Because the way I've seen this, your eye. So if I can help you now, you put your hand inside of me. It's not just seeing it alone. Putting your hand. Hey! You want to put your hand inside. Paul. Hey. Have you forgotten that I'm your brother's wife? See, in as much as you're my brother's wife, I'm, I'm supposed to do my job. I'm supposed to put my hand inside and find out where the pain is coming from. That's, that's, that's it. So if I allow you now, you put your hand inside. I'm telling you that it's an abomination. Eh? Oh, you need the force, neither me the second. Let me tell you. Even if you're putting your hand in every other woman outside, you won't put your hand inside. Hey, just wait, hold on, let me finish. Okay. You won't put your hand inside of me. Yes. Because you're my brother's wife. And it's an abomination. Madam, you're making everything seem so unprofessional. It's my work. You're not the first man of this. And neither the third person I've done that to. It's my right to put my hand inside and know where the pains are coming from. Your duty is to put your hand inside of my body. My dear, you will not see it. You will not see it. If I call you a professional like you claim, hmm? looking at me alone. I... I... Looking at me alone, eh? You know what is wrong with me? Where this problem is coming from? Not by putting your hand inside. A good mechanic hmm, does not necessarily need to open the car and put his hand everywhere to know where the problem is coming from. Eh? You know, she looking at it alone. The person knows. That's a professional. If you don't do your job, just tell me. Tell me. Please! It's obvious you don't know what you're doing. Abi, I'm off. I'm not going to put your hand inside. If I allow you, you put your hand. Please, I need your help. Okay. Is there any doctor, aside from Dr. Paul, that yeah. can attend to you? Um, but now, this hospital, some of the best hospitals we have around here that can attend to your case. And Dr. Paul is a good doctor. He's a very good doctor that can take care of your case. You don't know how you can take care of your case. You don't know how you can take no, don't get me wrong. I'm not saying that the phone is not safe. It's the thing there, sir. I'm not so 
you will be different from the football. And if, if you don't have the person in this hospital, no problem. Just pay me to another hospital. I see. Ma, you are in the right place. This hospital is where we have cases like yours. And Dr. Dave is one of the best nurses I've ever before. So please, just relax, stay here. I believe your case will be sorted out. I don't know. Right? Thank you. Thank you. I'm still here. Mm -hmm. I know you don't understand it when I said uh, that I I don't want to talk before. It is obvious you work here, so everything about this hospital will be good. But the truth of the matter is, Doctor Paul here, eh, is a very good doctor, no doubt, and the hospital is good, no doubt. But the thing is that. He is my husband's brother. Yeah. <laughs> really? Yes. This is a brother in your face. He's my brother's brother. You understand? My brother in law. Uh, th that is the more reason why I don't want it. Imagine eh, opening my leg for my brother in law to look. You understand the feelings now, right? <laughs> Silly, madam. For me, I don't see anything wrong with that. Mm. See, let me tell you. Dr. Paul is a professional. He does his work very well. And in this case, he's the only doctor that can handle your case. So for me, I don't see anything wrong with that. So, what you are trying to tell me now is that if your brother-in-law was to be a doctor, eh? You would open your leg for your brother in law to check you or to take care of you or to do anything. Is that what you're saying? Say, hey, Madam, it is the same. There's nothing, nothing, nothing wrong with you. Okay? Nothing is wrong with you. Yeah, you must don't worry. Don't worry. I made a mistake coming to ask you for help. Yeah? Don't worry. Now I know your kind of person. I, I don't know why I asked you in the first place. So that's the kind of nurse that you are. But ma please, madam, I beg. Don't you know what I would say? The section today at the hospital. Honey, I'm talking to you now. Honey, talk to me. What's happening? You want to get pregnancy in Australia again, eh? What is it now? How is my baby doing? Happy. You're not happy. Yes, I'm not. Why is that? Can you imagine that on getting to the hospital, 
Where's my soul? Was your brother? He was the one on six to take care of me. I mean, he was just like, oh, hold up. Undress, let me take you. Who does that? What is wrong with meeting my brother? By the way, he's a medical practitioner and this is what he does for a living. He's a professional, so he has to tell you to um, go into the room and maybe take off your clothes and for, for some kind of minor checkups. Mm -hmm. What is wrong with that? I don't get it. It's like you don't understand what I'm saying. You imagine, I mean, your brother seeing my nakedness. <laughs> it's not possible. You know it's not possible. Your brother can never see my nakedness. And I will not allow that. God forbid. Honey, if you are the one who is seeing it from this point of view, he's not, it's not as if he's deriving pleasure from looking at your nakedness or anything. You're a pregnant woman. And you're my wife at that. You're his sister-in-law. So he, he has no pleasure whatsoever looking at, at your pregnant, uh, at your uh, at your nakedness. By the way, my brother here is the best medical doctor I believe to be. He's one of the best in his arts. So I, I don't see any problem uh, entrusting your safety and the safety of my child in his hands. Newsflash. I am not going back to that hospital. As long as it's your brother that will take care of this, I will not. See, it's better you start planning. Plan on how we can actually go look for another place to register. Because that has been too. Uh -uh. I love you. Honey, I hope you skip off this notion of yours. You expect me to, to register you in another hospital. When I have a brother who is, he is ready and capable of rendering free service to you and our child. Huh? You expect me to entrust the safety of you and my child to a stranger where I have a family member. My dear, who is the medical doctor there? I hope you skip all this illusion of yours. It's like you're not getting what I'm saying. You're not getting it. And you're not going there. And I am so certain about it. I'm serious, so. <laughs> Don't even think that I'm joking. I am very, very serious. So is it another hospital or nothing? And you'll be the one to think about this. I believe the most swing of you are and the and the stage which you are in right now is affecting your the thinking capacity. So uh, try and take enough rest. And by the time I, I go out and come back, I believe you must have thought about this very well. Because I for one I feel that you will not leave a capable medical doctor who is capable of taking care of you and start looking for a stranger. So just think of uh, rest, rest, sleep, rest and think about this. Is that what you're saying? I should sleep rest. You come back and meet me. My decision stands. Ah! Again. Huh? I don't please you think this is a decision. Just accept for my brother to take care of you. Okay? His medical facilities is one of the top notch we have on the state here. Huh? And he's a very good medical practitioner at that. Can you please just rethink and you know consider you know let, let him take care of you? Please. What kind of man are you? of man will think the way you're thinking. Other men will support their wife's decision. No, not you. Huh? I don't I just don't understand the way you think. It's so annoying that you cannot even understand the fact that this is your brother you're talking about. Huh? I just don't understand this kind of man. Huh? You are in support of your brother seeing my nakedness. If there's anybody that will see my nakedness, not your brother. This should be a total stranger. Ah, ah. Are we still talking about this nakedness over here? Hmm? At this point in time, are we still talking about nakedness? By the way, when you are in the living room, you won't even remember your, whether you are naked or not. The only thing in your mind is how to give birth to a child. So what's with this nakedness of the thing now? 
Huh? No, tell me, have you been there before? See, my decision stands. You're gonna invest in my nakedness, and that is it. Tell now. You know our, our capacity right now. Financially, we are nowhere. I am not financially buoyant to, to take you to another hospital and start paying the bills that are involved in a pregnancy and delivery. Please, 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 please. If this is all you have to tell me, if this is all you have for me today, please, just give me space. I need air. This is enough heat. Give me space, please. I will let you have it, please. But if you know this, there is life after the living, okay? There is life after the living. Just think of how you are going to close this thing. How you are going to feed this thing. I want you to take into cognizance that there is life after the living. This is obviously what you better than my brother, my brother, my brother. I said, you're the only one that has brother. Huh? Come on, you have peace again in the house. Let us go to my brother's hospital. Huh? We've been staying here for over 30 minutes now, and there, there's been no doctor to attend to us. Honey, let's go out now. Let's go to my brother's hospital. Oh, no, stop it! Stop it! Eh? I'm not talking about pain and you're talking about your brother. Eh? Please, stop it! I told you, you don't want to see my nakedness. Please, just leave me alone. Honey, mm -hmm. I are seeing. We, we, since we, when we came here, we did not see any doctor, did we? All we saw was just nurses. Huh? There's no doctor in this hospital now. Let's go to my brother's hospital. Oh, the doctor! Just call the doctor! I... They have doctor. Call the doctor! Which doctor am I calling? Where there's a... Nurse! Nurse! What's up? Please, please, come, please, come. Um, when is the doctor coming now? Oh, madam, take it easy. Take it easy. Wait, it's a serious place. The doctor we have here is not a resident doctor. I have called him, he's on his way. Don't leave me again. Don't just keep calling him. He's, he's on his way, he's on his way. Just take it. Easy, easy. Breathe. No. Breathe. 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 It's up, easy. Baby, oh, what, what are you doing? Why are you so in charge of this one? No, no, baby, you are so in charge of this one. Yes, I'm in charge of this one. Is this the guy that's going to sit there? Yes, sir. I am. Mean. Yes, sir. Let me see. I want to assist him with that. She was on my head. I have to over off that day. Let go to our head. Let go to our head. Ah! I don't know what I have to do. I don't know. I swear 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 I I 
Steve, I think we have to put some more time, okay? How about that to share your things? Right? I'm coming to see you soon. I'm coming now. Just come. See, see, see. I don't know if it's the only one I've seen. I don't know if it's the only one I've seen. I'll be back with you. I'll be back with you. Go, 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 please, 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 please. Calm down, eh? calm down. I know you're angry, eh? I understand that my wife has been acting up. Just, just, just see her as a woman that is in, in level pace. I think she's not the one, man. She's not the one doing this thing she's doing, eh? Please, don't take whatever she says into her, eh? Don't see it as your, as your younger sister, like, writing nonsense. See, bro, I don't know why your wife is putting up such attitude. I'm just trying to help her. She's just being after mm, her nakedness and all that. As, as, as a professional doctor, I, I, I am not even after anybody's nakedness. Madam, why don't you want Dr. Paul to attend to you? Dr. Paul is one of the best gynecologists in town, if I'm not mistaken, in this country. This pain you are having is a sharp pain. This is not a level pain. Do you know the danger you are endangering this baby and yourself? This is not a normal pain. Madam, please, I am begging you from what we have observed. You need urgent attention for this to be corrected. If not, you might lose your life or the life of this baby. And you know, I'm doing this because of you. Because of you. I believe you. We are family. We are family. You have no problem. Anytime. I will bring her personally. I will bring her to your hospital anytime. Eh? You know, I don't even have money to afford this hospital. And you already gave me a good offer. I don't know you have already gave me a good offer. I'm going for something like that. I'm going for that. I'm going for that. You're my family. Brother. Stop. Um, you, you have to remove your clothes, okay? I, you have to remove your clothes. Madam, I have other patients to attend, please. It's okay now. I think it is. It's okay. It's crazy. I don't care. I just want to. I'm sure you talk to me. Let me. Let me. I'm, I'm doing it. It's my brother, eh? I mean, your husband. He stepped out. But I called him two hours ago. You can see, he's not around. Okay. Okay. So, tell me, how are you doing now? Hi. Hope everything is alright. Everything is fine. 
So how long are we expecting you back to our facility? I mean, come back for a check -up. I'm asking, when are you coming back for your checkup? You know you're supposed to come back for your checkup. I'm talking to you. And I heard you! Uh -uh. Am I there for something? Please! Uh, I'm not in that mood for that question and answer section. Please! Let me be. Uh -uh. What kind of problem is this one? Just give me a break, I think. I was actually thinking you're clean in there, but unfortunately you're not. And that's why you don't want anybody to you know, see you. I would advise that you keep clean as a pregnant woman. It's very necessary. Yes. And meanwhile, see me what my brother when he comes back. Ever since, ever since I brought my wife to your hospital. You started taking care of her, that pain she normally has before, she feels it normal. I can tell you for certain thing that she's bouncing and healthy now. You see, the baby now, the baby kicks properly. You see, the baby doesn't, she doesn't have that sharp pain she normally has before. She feels it now. You feel well? Yeah, I, I noticed a lot of changes while I stayed this afternoon. I noticed that she's, she has improved. She's really doing good. Exactly, exactly. You see, when they try to without the capacity of my brother's medical license, <laughs> you know that people that went to medical school, I tell them that I try to tell her that see, the prophet might not be recognized in his in his own path, but does not mean that the family member of the prophet does not know that he's a prophet. Yeah. That is the thing. Okay. Thank you very much. Oh, well, so so tell me how's working so far? What is wrong with you? Babes, why are you crying? Can you sit up and talk to me? Leave me alone! Leave me alone! I told you everyone was taking brother to handle my health! I told you everyone was to handle my health! But you didn't listen! We already talked about this, eh? So where is this one? Where is this one not coming from again? Where is this coming from? We already talked about this, we already settled this matter. By the way, he took care of the pains. You're no longer feeling any pains, or are you feeling any pains? You're not feeling any pains anymore. This has proven that he is a good doctor. So what is the problem? If you have any misunderstanding with him, you can always sort this out. You can see him as a brother. Please. I don't know what kind of man you are. I don't know how to understand you. See, your brother, just get that in your mind. Your brother is not going to hurt you by his delivery. Okay? And it's not having my health again from now! Please! Stop preparing for it! Bonnie, to be honest, I don't know where this is coming from. But from where I'm seeing this, my brother has proven himself. And I think he's the most suitable person to take care of you and our one child, okay? I have made my point to you. Okay? And that's why now! He's not happy with my delivery! I'm got his father! What is going on between my wife and my brother? Did they have any kind of problem with this understanding?
funny. Ever since I brought up the issue of you going to my brother for treatment, you have remained adamant about this request. Huh? Is there any problem between you and my brother? Or is there something you're not telling me? I have told you. Eh? I am not going to his hospital for treatment or checkup again. And that's fine now. Honey, if at all you have any misunderstanding with my brother, you can always, you can always talk about it. Eh? By the way, my brother is the best surgeon in the States and he has the best medical equipment and facility. So I don't I don't see any reason why in fact you've not even given me any tangible reason why you don't want my brother to treat you. He's a very understanding person, he's a very nice person. And he sees you as a sister. Please speak for yourself and don't talk to your brother. Yeah? He's understanding. You don't even know him so well. Even though you think you know him. Well I think I know him quite well. Anyway, since you don't want to talk to me about what's happening, I have to talk to my brother to know what's happening between you both. And I believe, or I hope, brother, he's going to tell me what is happening between both of you. Alright, I'll be heading out right now. You take care of yourself and yourself. Love you. Mm -hmm. Okay, okay, then I'll call you tomorrow then. I'll call you tomorrow. Right, right. I'm sorry, Dave. Sorry for keeping you guys waiting. I'm so sorry. Um, we have to be on our way as well. Already? Go for a drink. Hey, Dave. Hey, into my matrimonial bed. It is obvious you don't even have respect for your brother or even me. Huh? How dare you call my girlfriend dirty and small? Huh? Look at the kind of girl you're going on. Huh? That small and dirty girl. It is obvious that that's your class and that's where you belong. Sure, you see that girl that you call a dirty girl? It's much more better than you are. More neat and cleaner than you are. <laughs> me. Ask your brother. See, for your information, I've been able to sleep with so many beautiful, more classy and neat girls more than you are. <laughs> In your wider dream. Huh? You're comparing me to those kind of, the, the, the kind of small, small girls you go out with. Cynthia, I'm better a person for you. I am just too good to be your kind. Yes. You can see, that's the reason your brother went after me in the first place. See, I can't just be wasting my time battering wars with you. I just wonder what my brother can pass me through your hands. Let me help you. You see, I have never seen you outside in your entire life. And you will never see. Because I am too good for you. I am clean, in and out. I am classy, I am intelligent, and I am beautiful as you can see. So I am not in any way you know. Okay, if you claim to be as neat as you are, eh? Come back, can I just see? Go and finish you. Eh? Can you just see? Your brother's wife. And I am so obvious. You are shameless and dirty. God, if not for your brother, what would I be doing in your family? I... You have to remove your clothes.
Madam, I have other persons to attend, please. It's okay now. I'm it is easy. So what is it, baby? I don't care. I just shout it. You sure you try to do it? Let me! Let me! I, I'm doing it! I was actually thinking you were cleaning in there. But unfortunately you're not. And that's why you don't want anybody to you know, see you. I would advise that you keep clean as a pregnant woman. It's very necessary. No, 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 I can't do it. I cannot do it. I can't kill anybody. Just help me. Eh? I beg you, help me. See, madam, I cannot commit murder. See, from what you've told me so far, you're asking me to commit murder to kill Dr. Paul. No, I did not ask you to kill Dr. Paul. The only thing I said you should do is just help me put this softness on his seat or around his office. That's all. Madam, what about sprinkling on the seat or anything? It's the same thing I ask, committing murder. Me, I don't want to commit any murder. And besides, you told me that the perform is a murder in law. And now you want to kill him. No, 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 please. Count me out. I'm not interested. In See, whatever that is happening in my family is none of your business. Okay? The only thing I ask is just for you to help me. Besides, I'm not, uh, I'm not saying you should do it for free. I'm going to pay you awesomely for it. Huh? Mm. Yes, just give me your account number. So you pay me? I will. Um, um, madam, how much are you talking about? Just give me your account number. Yes. Madam, I don't want to commit murder. You don't want to commit murder. You are not committing murder. Eh? Give me your account number. Go ahead. Who send it? I'll, I'll pay you. Call it. Yeah. Go ahead. Call it. Okay. Call this one. Call it. Call it. Zero zero. Zero zero. Five five. Two eight. Two eight. One eight. What? Madam, are you sure I'm not going to kill him? Mm -hmm. Nobody is dying. Don't worry. Eh? Let me send the money first. Hello. Hello, sir. Good afternoon. I'm okay. Um, is my brother Dr. Paul around? Actually, he just stepped out, sir. Just stepped out. Mm -hmm. uh, but he asked me to come see him not that long ago. He just received an urgent call right now and it was sound as if it was an emergency, so he stepped out now. Alright, let me call him up. Yeah, Paul, how far? Yeah, yeah, you know, said that you went for an emergency. Alright, yeah. I'll wait for you. Just be fast, please, eh? Okay, I'll show you from your office. Alright, no problem. Um, he says I should wait for him. Office? office? Yes, to his office. <laughs> 
But, sir, I think it's better you sit here for you. Um, the love here is meant for the patient, and I'm not the patient. I just want to see my brother. Can't I just wait in the office? Um, but. Is but, there anything wrong with that? No, 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 no nothing is wrong with that. Um, just that. You need I'll, to confirm for him. Well, <laughs> okay, let me call him so he can confirm. Him. Yeah, Paul, what's up? I think your nurse needs to confirm from you. Yes. To allow me to stay in the office now. You can talk to her. Hello, sir. Yes, sir. I thought you should be. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Mm. All right. Yeah. Alright. Uh, Apple, I wait for you now. Alright. So you came on. Can we go to the office now? Yes, yes. This way. Uh, this way. I just want to relax, eh? But, sir, that chair is meant for the doctor. Don't worry, sir. Okay. Ms. Queen, are you still here? No, I'm just leaving. Excuse me, sir. Don't worry, I'm okay. I'm fine. Okay. About now, what kind of pain is this one? Eh? Eh? When did this one start now? My waist. Oh, your waist. It's like, God, it's just as if I have this heavy load all over me. God, I'm so restless. Baby, you are scaring me now. You are scaring me. Eh? Oh, yeah. Eh? Ever since I came back from my brother's hospital yesterday, Wait. I've been in severe pain. Baby. Waste. Did you see your brother's hospital yesterday? Yeah, 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 yesterday. Oh. Oh. Why did you go there now? Why didn't you tell me? I'm sorry, I forgot to tell you. I had an important meeting. I had to discuss about our village meeting. God. Your brother was there, right? No, 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 he wasn't around. I had to. I had to wait for him in his office. Jesus! You waited for your brother! You did so. And he was not around! Just, just imagine something. <coughs> just moving on. The pains, they are moving all over my brother. Hey! I can't breathe properly. I'm coming. <coughs> What is going on? What is happening? Why did you allow my husband to enter into the office before his brother? Ah, but madam, I did not know that your husband will be coming today. You didn't know? Oh, you didn't know? And you allowed him to enter into the office? When you knew he put his substance on that seat? You must be very stupid. You are very stupid. See, madam, don't insult you. I think God beg you. I should not insult you. I was given an order to allow him to uh, go inside the office. And besides, when I took him inside the office, he insisted on sitting in the last seat. Eh? I didn't even know that that thing was going to, to harm or kill anybody. I should not insult you when my husband is dying inside. Dying? But, madam, you didn't tell me that that thing would kill anybody. Oh! Oh, 
Going to come that day. Sorry. When you knew my husband was entering the office, why didn't you stop him? Why didn't you stop my husband from entering the office? Why? Why did he? I'm just a nurse here, madam. And your husband brother is the one in charge. Understand? So I was ordered to open the door of his office for him to enter. I didn't even know that that thing you gave me was going to kill anybody self. I'm so sorry, Cecil. I'm so sorry. Please, I'm so sorry, eh? I'm sorry. I paid for my husband's death. It's okay. I paid for my husband's death. It's okay, please. Hey! Because stay your condition, please. Please, eh? I'm so sorry. Please, go. I'm sorry, I'm sorry. Oh, I did not kill my husband. Are you innocent? And now the villagers are saying I should um, swear before a deity. Why can't you help me? Please. Then you should go ahead and swear. To prove your innocence. I can't swear. I'm a Christian. You're a Christian as well and a doctor. You should carry out an autopsy on your brother so that they can actually find out what killed him. Please. Well, it's not in my power to carry out an autopsy on my brother, okay? So it's paramount that you must swear to prove your innocence. No, I can't do that. Please. Uh, convince them to do something else. Eh? To, to think of something else. I, I'm not swearing. Please, I can't do that. Help me. You should go ahead and swear. You should swear to prove your innocence. That's it. You should swear. Only my condition.
I swear by the gods of our land that if I have a hand in the death of my husband, let the gods of our land, Omunike, strike me dead. Mm-hmm. <laughs> 